your half friends, half friends. Welcome back to my channel. Did you miss me? Hmm. You like my makeup? Hmm. Today's video is a first impressions. I've never done a first impressions on my YouTube channel before and I'm so excited because this amazing brand called New Daughters reached out to me. She wanted to send me some products to try out and I dug her vibe and I trusted her because her face was... And I didn't anticipate her to send me this much stuff so I was like, oh no, this is more than TikTok worthy. This is full blown. I gotta play with this stuff, get hit it with a little razzle dazzle. So here we are. Do you like my look? Look at this. If my lip was red, I would very much be giving you Rihanna in the Wild Thoughts video. Before I start this video, if you haven't subscribed already, that's it. If you haven't subscribed yet, what's the holdup? Because now at this point, I got to bring out the big guns. If you haven't subscribed yet, what, what are we even doing? Catch me outside. Immediately. Any information in regards to today's products is going to be linked down below. Enjoy. Just get out of here. No, no, don't leave. Stay for the video, then like it and comment, and then you can get out of here. We're going to dive right in. So when you see me in the next clip, I'm going to look like doodle on a stick, but just bear with me and trust the process because this is the outcome. Mm, I love the book. Good. All right, so greetings. Clean face. The only thing I have on is my moisturizer. I'm sorry if you can hear my fan, but it's hot. Just, it's, and it's quieter than the AC. We're gonna pick a struggle and I pick the fan. So the first thing that we're gonna play with, I have nothing on my face right now, is the, it's called the brow. I took it out of the box already. Lately, this is like how I've been doing my brows. My complete brow routine has changed and I literally get mad when I see old pictures of my brows because I'm like, damn, Sam, you really thought you were doing something. And they were just out there looking just thick and, and nasty. I'm looking at the instructions. It says, spray some water onto the brow groomer not the soap directly, so we don't want to spray the little tin. Dip your brow groomer into the brow soap, lightly coat and bristle with the brush through the brows, flicking upwards to create a feathered look. This brow soap can be worn alone or all over with your favorite brow powder, pencil, or pen. I don't have water. Use a little bit of Fix Plus, right? So we're gonna... I love the smell of Fix Plus. Oh, I don't know, is it just me? I love the smell of Fix Plus. Right? This is what it looks like. Uh, I feel like I should wet this a little bit. Pushing it through. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's really like a soap. There's like lather. Oh, it's really like a soap. Okay, wait. I need my little, my little tool. I think I wet it too much. It's starting to dry down, so it's getting nice and tacky. I think I fudged up and I wet my this thing too much okay so we're back my brows are laid down i think i messed up on this one at first but i kind of got a groove with this one so i wet the little thing too much so you don't need a lot because that thing is like actual soap like once you start to like i'm doing the motion but the words just aren't coming to me once you start to put the brush into the product it starts to lather so i think i did way too much on this side that's why i had like that soapy bubbly residue so with this one i like just a barely enough water like if I turn my head like they're flat I'm going to fill in my brows the way I normally would prime my eyeballs and then come back and we're gonna mess with some eyeshadows okay so brows are one I always think I look absolutely nuts when I do my brows and my primer and I have nothing else on my face shout out to the women who could do their brows and just walk out of their house and look normal like right now I look like an angry bird the my powder sat on that product really really nicely Going forward, when I, I'm going to try it again, I'm going to make sure I do it the way I did this side because I kind of went crazy on this one. But once I got the groove of it, it worked really, really well. So I will be trying that again. I know that this is an eyeshadow palette, so let's open it. I feel so bad. It was packaged so pretty. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Look, this is called the Gitana. 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 You sure? This is the Gitana pa eyeshadow palette. So before I open it, it says the Gitana. Gitana palette is our debut palette and she's here to make a statement. It's perfect for the everyday makeup look with the perfect pop of color. All of our shadows are blendable and easy to apply. The palette comes with nine pigmented shades, mattes, shimmers, and glitters with the full size mirror. I like the mirror part. I like the fact that it's compact. This 
It's not matte. It feels nice. I gotta stop rubbing it like that, but it feels nice. Okay, so boom. Automatically, I'm going to devour these three shades. This is up my alley. And I like all of this shiny shit. And green, y'all already know I'm infamous for doing a pop of green on my lower lash line. I like this. I'm anxious. I'm excited to dive into this palette. Ow! Okay, wait. Let me swatch some for you because I did not expect that. Oh, nah. Do you see that? Okay, so I looked bugged the f*** out. But trust the process. As I'm figuring out what I'm going to do, and I am going to show you guys how I achieved everything on this eye that's why this eye is naked i'm moving on to these the yin yang what the hell yin yang aqua liner i own some aqua liners but i've never used any before this is gonna be a first this is gonna be i hope it comes out good because i have a vision i got the yin yang liner brush the perfect liner brush to achieve the sharpest liner every time ah, okay all oh, this is this is no this is teeny tiny you see how teeny tiny that is instructions i gotta figure out how i'm supposed to are the directions on the site let's see the video on the instagram ah there is a video how to use an aquamire which is fine so somebody made a tiktok you. so what i like to do is add water to the cap dip my brush into the water and then go right in and dip it into the color do it how you like she just did some shit. Okay, I think I got it. I'm gonna use the cap and I'm gonna use a little bit of my all nighter setting spray. I don't know what your name is. I'm an idiot. I picked up the cap to read the label to see if the shade name is on it and I spilled the spray. So we're gonna do what the pretty girl did in her TikTok video. I'm dipping the, br this brush is nice. I'm going into the neon green. Oh. Ooh, I'm kind of I'm kind of really excited. Oh, hold on, wait. I want to make sure that the brush is really saturated. I have a vision. I have a vision. Okay. Oh, friends. No. No, I'm obsessed with that. I was worried about the bright green popping up on popping up on top of this green eyeshadow because I know that some liners can be a little iffy. Okay, friends, so I swatched every... There is a gnat. Who the fuck even invited you in this place, Natalie? These are so vivid and bright. And I did two layers. Not that I had to, but I wanted to do a crack test. Like, because, you know, some liners, you put them on and they can crack. These have not cracked. And they're so effing vivid. Like, I'm obsessed. And the creative in me is like, oh, what can I do with this? What can I do with that? Like... The possibilities are endless and I feel like you could even if you want to like get a little crazy you could like mix and come up with custom shades okay, I'm gonna do all of this to this eye come back and then we're gonna move on to the other products okay so I got a little ahead of myself and started the second eye and I was like oh shit I'm not recording so as a my crease color like this like transition shade I used affirmation and ethereal I love the word ethereal so now I'm taking the color dream and I'm packing it first and then I'm gonna blend it and in all honesty, I do not remember what the hell I did over here. So hopefully I'll make these two eyes look at least like cousins and not neighbors because shit, I need them to at least be somewhat cohesive. So feedback that I could give you about these shadows, pigment is there. Pigment is absolutely there. They blend together very, very, very well. Over here is going to look a sloppy mess, but I'm going to clean it up. So just bear with me. Then I'm going to take a little mixture of these two, these two dark mattes, the brown and this like deep hunter green. And I'm going to go to the outer corner and I'm going to pack that like a mofo. And it. I'm going to take a little bit of my P. Louise Eye Base. Cut the creeps. That's good enough because none of this is going to matter once I start putting the other shadow on top. So now I'm taking the color Cosmic. And I'm going to place that all over the base we just laid down now i'm taking my black eye liner and i know i need a new one but these are expensive so shush i messed up okay wait shh, don't talk to me while i'm doing this hold on oh fucking up oh fucking up okay trust the process 
I'm not saying it to y'all to trust the process. I'm saying it to me because right now I have no idea what direction this is going in. Yes. Okay, guys, so eyeshadow's on. I really, really like that palette. I kind of messed up over here, but don't worry, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to do my base and then come back and show you the other items. But once I do my lower lash line, I feel like it's all going to come together. Complexion in one, two, three. <laughs> so we're back. I threw on a little headband and whatever, fine. So I look crazy. I need to finish this look. So I opened up this thing. This is so effing pretty. Like, I just want to have this on display. So, initially, I thought it was just an eyeliner. But it's like a lash glue. So, it's really, really black. It's very black, but it's sticky. So what is this? Oh, is this like a compact? Hold on. How do I open this? This is childproof. This is pretty. Hold on. What is it? No. Look at these fluffy shits. And this is heavy. Like, this is quality. This ain't no cheapy, cheapy stuff. So I'm just going over that black line that I did earlier. Yo, the power of a freaking eyelash. Oh, that just completely elevated this look. I went from looking crazy to like, hey, girl. Oh, I really do like that. And my eyes are extra brown right now. Okay, so now let's get into the lippies. And I got sent three colors. Fetish, Balm, and 2AM. So these are the three shades out of the packaging. I think I'm going to do a little bit of this mauve shade. I'm going to swatch all three so you can see them. Okay, these are the three shades swatched on my hand. This is the 2AM, this is Fetish, and this is Balm. So she also sent me two lip glosses. I topped off the 2AM with this gloss, and this gloss is called 1111. Oh, that's cute, 1111. Or is it 1111? 4-1s. But you know I like a good gloss. So now it's time for the part that I'm the most excited about. And that is the highlight. So I'm going to break this little seal. She sent me two shades. And the two shades that I received are. This one's called Pure Soul. And this one's called Rose Quartz. This is the Pure Soul. And it is a goldy kind of color. Swatch you. Ooh, I like this shit. This is the rose quartz. Let's use a different finger. Please hold. I'm gonna put you next to that one. Oh no! What's in these? Oh, okay, okay. I don't know what you wanna do. Okay, maybe I'll do a little bit of both. I literally had to wipe everything off and redo this whole entire thing. I don't know when I'm gonna post this video, but as as by now majority of my supporters should know that i recently lost my grandmother three days ago actually i'm filming this on august 5th and my grandmother passed away on august 2nd and i just had a very emotional hour and i sobbed like nobody's business and it was a combination of tears of joy and just i don't even know how to describe it but i'm back and she would want me to keep going so what did i do i fucking wiped it off and i did it all over again and that's that's what we're doing that's where we are right now so let's get back to these highlighters i forgot to reapply the gloss this is 11 11 on top of 2 a.m all right let's do this Ooh. i don't know if that's picking up on camera but it's very This is very much giving me like glow from within, like not, ooh, it's not blinding and beaming, it's just so pretty. And let me see if I take a picture with flash. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh, ooh. We're gonna try rose quartz on this side, and this is clean brush. Oh, so same effect as far as like glow i feel like this is a little bit more beaming this one has more of a pink finish to it where this one is more like a yellowy gold oh if i had to pick a favorite it might be rose quartz if you're somebody who likes a loud i kind of got i went crazy with this one this side if you like if somebody likes like a nice beaming highlight something nice and loud i would go with the rose quartz i put some over here i don't know why but if you're somebody who likes more subtle glow from within i would go with the pure soul both 
pretty as hell. No, this is fire. I'm gonna be doing this all day, like looking at myself and checking myself out. There is one more thing that I wanna add. If you know my makeup style and how I normally do my faces, I like an inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna take this color, Soul, this like beaming, glittery deliciousness, and I'm gonna drown my inner corner with that. Oh shit. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Samantha, don't get excited. Because then you're gonna fuck up everything. Oh, I don't regret this at all. Don't dip your brush too hard into that color because then you'll make a mess. But this, oh, I can get jiggy with this shit. Obsessed. I'm obsessed. I love this. Don't talk to me. Do not speak to me. Conversations, not an option. I, I can't provide conversation because I refuse to talk to you because I don't want you talking to me. All right. All right, new daughter. Okay, new daughter. So if I had to rate each product, let's go down from the beginning. The soap brow soap thing i fudged up but i'm gonna try it again and i'm gonna because this brow came out perfection but again it's like a new user era but i do like that eyeshadow love it the cream liner gel things love it that right there is like tingling all my spidey senses because like now like the creative in me wants to wild out and do all types of graphic liners the brush that it comes with perfection the lashes i love that was so unexpected and they're right up my alley like i love bold crazy lashes and then they weigh nothing i love the lipstick formula because even though it was a matte finish it was creamy it wasn't drying it didn't feel like i had like 848 powdered donuts the gloss like right now my lips feel so smooth not even goopy and it gives you the right kind of shine the highlighters do you see me like oh like the highlighters I i'm i'm gonna be honest i there's not anything that i didn't like i liked it all and even like just like the, the 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 design of the products like this i want to keep this out on display like i just want to have that out and let it be pretty i just can't wait i can't wait to do more exciting looks with these products like this is great i love this i love this with all my heart and soul if you do recreate this look or if you do get any products from them let me know their instagram their tiktok as well as their website everything will be linked down below so if you want to shop get ahead tell them sammy sent you make sure you follow me on all of my other socials make sure that you shop my merch make sure that you're kind and you're not evil and make sure you drink your water is there anything else you need to make sure that you do no i think you're fine for now oh this was my first first impressions get the fuck out of here who am i i love you guys so 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 much until next time until we meet again